Thank you for joining us today. This is part two of our four-part mini-series on Azure Governance. Each part is intended to be a very high-level overview of the information presented during a day-long event. At the end of the mini-series, you'll have an opportunity to register for a local Azure Governance event, so please stay tuned. In our last session, we covered management groups. Today, we're going to talk about Azure policy and initiatives. In our next session, we're going to cover blueprints, and then we're going to round things out with resource graph and cost management. Part 2, Policy and Initiatives. Azure Policy is a service in Azure that you use to create, assign, and manage policies that enforce rules over your resources to ensure compliance against corporate standards and service level agreements. An initiative is a collection of policies grouped together. An initiative simplifies managing and assigning policies by grouping them as one single item. Azure policy is comprised of three components, enforcement and compliance, application at scale, and remediation. You will have the ability to turn on built-in policies or build custom policies for all resource types, evaluate and enforce policies real time, assess compliance, and a newly added feature, VM in-guest policy, that allows you to audit settings inside a machine. Azure Policy also allows you to apply policies to a management group with organization-wide control, apply multiple policies and aggregate policy states with policy initiative, and remediate on a real-time basis, which includes remediation on existing resources, a newly added feature. When maintaining control through policy you design, rather than a workflow, you have time to focus on other things, like optimizing your environment. There's no longer a need to play custodian of the environment. The environment is designed to work for you, not the other way around. This concludes this preview of Azure Governance Policy and Initiatives. I hope you'll join us for Part 3, Blueprints.